We are on Windows Server 8 and I'm going to show an overview of the Active Directory sites and services. So to locate this program, just click on the window in the bottom left corner, scroll over and choose Active Directory sites and services. From here we'll go ahead and double click and drill down and we'll see various different options. And our first option is subnets. If you have servers in multiple different subnets, different locations, then from here you can right click and you can choose a new subnet and you can add that here to there so it makes sure it replicates with more than one subnet. Another thing we have is the intersite transports. You have a couple different options. You have IP and SMTP. IP is if you have a site that is either close by on the same network or you have a high-speed connection to in another office. If you have a slow or unreliable connection, you'll set up an intersite transport using SMTP instead. So by default, every new domain controller that comes online is going to create an IP site link. Uh, but if you want to, you can go in and edit that information. Just right click and go into properties and you can see the different uh, site links. The, by default we just have the default first site name. We can change the schedule of replication. We can go into the object itself, see some information on when it was created. If you check the box protect object from accidental deletion then that box cannot, that the site cannot be deleted unless that box is unchecked. Here's who has rights to the device and then you have an attribute setter, uh, setting as well. From here we've got the SMTP. We can create a new site link if we want or a new site link bridge. And right now we just have the one site so there is no place to go to. But if you went to that you'd be able to add additional sites in the SMTP for that type of replication. We have our defer default first site name. We can go to the properties on that got location, type in if you want, object information, security again, and the attribute editor. From here we've got the servers and you can right click on the server, go to properties, and you can see it's a global catalog, domain controller. You've got the different transports if you want. You can also say this is a bridgehead server for other uh, for other servers object, there's more security and attribute editor once again. Now if you right click on NTDS settings you also have the option of making it a global catalog or unchecking global catalog. Of course you have to have at least one in every domain. And again we have various different information which is pretty much the same as in the previous properties. So that's an overview of Active Directory sites and services. There will be additional videos on showing how to configure and do various different site links.